Arthrogryposis, A-R-T-H-R-O-G-R-Y-P-O-S-I-S. Arthrogryposis. That's what I have, or at least that's the label they gave me when I left the hospital. To this day, I don't know much about it. My mom told me two things I needed to know, she said. David, this will not get worse with age and you will have a normal lifespan. Everything else, you determine. So I was like, all right, that's what I, that's what I need to know, I guess, and right? When I was six years old, I was, well, first when I was born, my arms were built like capital L's. So my wrist would go here and go straight down like a capital L. And the doctor said we need to make one hand a little, make him one-handed to get, to make him a little bit stronger. So they broke my right wrist and they put pins in there and they helped make me right-handed at that time to, to build stuff up in my fingers to allow me to use that hand a little bit more easier. And then the surgery was pretty good. Then they said, where are you going to? Because I didn't have a bicep or a tricep muscle. So they said, we are going to take your pectoral muscle and put it where your bicep is to see if we can build you a bicep. I was like, hey, I'm not using the pectoral muscle anyway, so might as well. So that would happen when I was about eight years old. The surgery wasn't really a success, but hey, they tried. And it was really funny because when they were trying, to, when they were doing the surgery, and after the surgery, I had to go to lots of rehab, lots of therapy sessions, tons of doctor's appointments, and the muscles were never growing. They were really worried because they said all these surgeries and we're not seeing any muscle growth. So the doctors went back and they said, well, I don't know. But then all of a sudden one day, my mom took me back to the doctor and they're like, hey, the muscle's really growing. What are you doing at home? And my mom said, we're doing the same therapy, the same stuff that you tell us to do every day and it's normal everyday living. They said, no, the muscle's really growing. We gotta figure out what he's doing. So they told my mom, follow him around the next day. So the next day my mom followed me around and I was like, hey mom, you gotta give me some space. But she followed me everywhere I went. It turned out that I was playing the new Atari video game in 1980 and the movement of the joystick was building the muscles. I went back to the doctor two couple days later and the doctor said, you know what? He needs to play more video games. How cool was that? I gotta play more video games because the doctor said I had to he said I had to play 30 minutes a day. It was awesome. In the therapy room, the doctor even had an Atari set up in the, in the room. I was great and my muscles were getting bigger. I was able to use my thumb a lot more. I was able to use my pointer finger and the bicep was starting to grow a little bit. So I was, it, it, was, getting, it was good for me. I also, when I was turned 13, they broke my left wrist and tried to make that a little bit straighter. It was more of a cosmetic surgery because I don't really use my left hand a whole lot. I don't really let arthrogryposis control me. I kind of control it in my life. Out of my 10 fingers, I basically only use two, four of my 10 fingers. Two fingers on my right hand, on my pointer finger, on my thumb. The other fingers, they all move together. Even if I hold one of them, I can't move my pinky. Oh, I can barely move because the other ones all want to move together. This hand, the same thing. These three fingers only move together. In fact, my middle finger is actually completely broke. Can't be fixed, so I don't use it. But I still do everything that a normal person would do. I guess you would call it a normal person. I drive a car, I swim, I can bowl, I can shoot basketball, I can play basketball. I can cook, just don't tell my wife that. I can do laundry, don't tell my wife that either though because then I'll be doing laundry the next couple of days. And so I, I never really let out the grapposes control me. I, as I did this video, I looked up arthrogryposis online and I was like, wow. I really was blown away by what I've learned and what I've seen about it. And I'm reaching out to them, I'm like, man, we gotta do more stuff together. I really thought arthrogryposis just affected me. I didn't know it affected the whole, a lot of the world. I didn't know one in 3,000 people were infected. But, or not infected, I don't know if the word infected would be the best word to use, but I didn't know they had that. It was really, mind-blowing just to know that I wasn't a small, I always thought I was like a unicorn in the corner of the universe. And really I'm with a big pack of people that, that have that. And, I, and I'm with you guys and, and I feel that after you watch this video, you will say that we are all together and we, we all have to overcome a lot of stuff in life.
I don't like to looking at the label of arthrogryposis. I know it's called arthrogryposis multiplex congenital, but to me, I'm just a person who has overcome everything. I live by the model, anything is possible. If everybody can live with the, pot, with the model, anything is possible, you won't have to live under a label. And I don't believe in labels. Thank you.